we have a new topic today. I'm so I'm so excited. Every time we do a, a whole new topic, it's kind of like for me, I get excited about like like this means like a, a whole entire thing. It's kind of like walking into a um, like going to a new country, and then that first moment where you're like, whoa, so much cool stuff. Like there's just all kinds of novel things to explore, and that's kind of how I feel about it. So I feel you. All right. I hope you're there with me, right now. Before I get into this at all, okay, um, I want to stand back and I'm trying to explain why I put these on the board. Okay, let's just step way, way back and think about mathematics as a whole. Okay, now, in my view, mathematics is about seeing and understanding patterns. Patterns is kind of like the name of the game, right? Um, which is why mathematics is about more than just numbers. People think maths is about numbers and numerical crunching and that kind of thing, but there's loads of branch of maths that have nothing to do with it numbers per se, there are just patterns there, and so we, we work with the patterns. So for example, uh, one of my favorite examples is the knot theory. So there's a, there's a whole branch of mathematics that is about knots, and why when I put you know, my beautifully folded set of headphones in my pocket, right, and they come out, it's just this mangled mess, there's, there's a pattern going on there, right? And the DNA that makes up your body is also like this mangled sort of knot nut mess, but there's a pattern there that your body can make sense of, and that's how it creates every cell in the body. Um, so, mathematics is about seeing patterns. Some of the patterns are obvious. So, I mean, you don't have to write this down. But um, we, we probably recognize what these are, right? Uh, this one, this one, this one, this one. What are these? What are these? Formulas. These are formulas. What are they formulas for? Do you recognize them? They're formulas for area. Uh, and these are things like uh, a rectangle, uh, a rhombus, or a kite. Um, you guys can help me out. Like that looks like triangle to me, and that would be a trapezium. Okay. Now, when students first learn these, well, depending on the way they learn them, sometimes they learn them as things which have no relationship to each other. It's like, here are some formulas, learn them, they work, that's cool, but they have nothing to do with each other. And you guys have come far enough, and I hope you learned it the first time well enough, that you know that they are completely connected, right? Um, they all, every, every polygon that we know of comes back down to rectangles and triangles, right? Really rectangles, because triangles are just half rectangles, right? So, some of the patterns in mathematics are obvious, but others, not so much. For instance, if I told you that the path of the sun through the sky, the plucked guitar string of, a, of a, an acoustic steel string guitar, and the roughly, I did the, I did the maths on this, the roughly six billion, billion, billion atoms that make up my body, if I told you that they were all related in some way, there was a pattern underneath all of them, you'd probably I look at me sideways. I believe you. Bit, right? You might believe me, but that doesn't mean you see the pattern. Okay? And here's the thing though, if you start to look at, if you start digging into um, orbital dynamics, or um, mechanical wave acoustics, that's what we call it, or if you dig really deep into something called string theory, you will find that the humble sine function is what governs all of these. Uh, if, you, if you take a picture of a certain spot in the sky at the same time every day for a whole year, right? like take a picture of the sun at 2 p.m. at a particular spot, right? the path that the sun will trace in the sky is a sine wave. And if you have a, um, a fast enough camera, if you watch a guitar string as it vibrates, it will look exactly like a sine wave. And people who do physics know that one of the big theories on the, the fundamental nature of like objects and energy and like really, is that all they are is vibrating strings, hence the name string. Okay? And we have the nerve to call these things trigonometric ratios, as if measuring triangles was the most important thing that they could do. Um, it's not true. In fact, sine and cosine and tan in a real way, they govern every single cycle and vibration in the universe. And when you just take those two categories, that's a lot of things in the universe, right? So some of the patterns are not obvious. Some patterns are not obvious at all. And this topic is about one of the least obvious patterns in all of mathematics. It's sort of, sort of whoosh, when, you, when you first see it. So to try and tease it out a bit, I need to show you this video, okay? So I don't know if any of you have heard of um, 